This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2022. Non-accidental trauma, NAT, refers to deliberately inflicted injuries on vulnerable populations, and such injuries are considered signs of abuse. In children under 2 years of age, fractures are the second most common presenting sign of child abuse. Transphyseal distal humeral fractures occur almost exclusively in this age group and are strongly associated with NAT. On the other hand, supracondylar humeral fractures, which occur in a similar location, are only weakly associated with NAT. Because transphyseal distal humeral fractures present infrequently, orthopedic surgeons have to rely on anecdotal knowledge to support their suspicions of NAT. In a recent report, a group of researchers from the United States performed an 18-year retrospective study on incidents of displaced transphyseal distal humeral fracture and displaced supracondylar humeral fracture in children under 3 years old. The purpose of the study was to find and contrast the incidence of NAT in the two groups. They studied a total of 23 cases of transphyseal distal humeral fracture and 205 cases of supracondylar humeral fracture, reported between January 2002 and December 2020. Patient demographics, mechanisms of injury, reports of Child Protective Services investigations and medical records were reviewed and statistically analyzed. They found that 26% of the transphyseal distal humeral fractures were caused by NAT, as compared to only 2% of supracondylar humeral fractures. They concluded that transphyseal distal humeral fractures were associated with a 13 times higher risk of NAT in children under 3 years old. To the author's knowledge, this study is the first of its kind to find statistical evidence between transphyseal distal humeral fractures and child abuse.